The Research Master of Brain and Cognitive Sciences is a two-year international interdisciplinary research master program and it is our mission to train the future generation of brain and cognitive scientists who are not only expert in their field but who have also the capacity uh, to talk and work together with people from other disciplines in order to make scientific progress. The master program in brain and cognitive sciences is embedded in the Amsterdam Brain and Cognition Center. This is an interdisciplinary research center in which brain and cognitive scientists from different faculties work together. So teaching is also provided by active researchers from the Amsterdam Brain and Cognition Center. I chose this master because I did linguistics for my bachelor, but I also took a lot of courses in psychology and artificial intelligence and I was kind of looking for something that could combine all of those interests of mine. What's really typical about this program is that you're really free to uh, fill out your own interests. So we have some compulsory courses, but after that you choose your own electives and you can really build your own program according to your own research interests. The reason I think interdisciplinarity in these days is so important for neuroscience is that many of the projects that we perform in the field are actually large-scale projects that require interdisciplinary approaches. I noticed, for instance, during my own project that this interdisciplinary nature is super important. So for my own project I work a lot with optical systems. This requires, of course, physicists. And during the analysis of my imaging data, it requires mathematics. So all these people, all these disciplines need to come together. And I think during the masters, even though you cannot actually learn all these individual disciplines, they really stress that you need to realize that this interdisciplinarity is necessary for successful neuroscientist project. The study guidance during this master is uh, it's really personal. First of all, the classes are really small, so you know your teachers very well. And then we also have our personal tutor and we have regular meetings. So you discuss your personal developments and if you're achieving all of your goals. You're really encouraged to find your own specialization and research interests, um, but you also stay on track. Besides that, there's also the study association Cognito, which for example has weekly Tuesday drinks after sticks. So there's also just a lot of social interaction between students and you meet a lot of new people. So after the master program, approximately 70% of the students ends up in a PhD program, which can be in different disciplines. It can be in molecular and cell neuroscience, it can be at imaging. Other students end up in education, for example, but also as developers in modeling, in programming, and some of them end up in consultancy. 